Oh. Oh yeah, that looks like something. Work out for your hands. Oh. Oh. I mean, okay. So we have a cute little black toad and a white toad. And I really love this black finish and I think we'll use that for the finished pieces. But one thing I have done very poorly is mix my silicon because there's some little uncured bits in here, which as a result, has given poor little toad a bit of a snaggle tooth. Makes him extra cute. And uh, there is some like little eye chunkage <laughs> that's developed as the uncured silicon has pulled away. Yeah, it's not a great result. So we're gonna try again and uh, see how that, how that goes. So my order for new silicon came in today. Let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah, now we're cooking. Oh, look at that. Oh, see, look, this is the consistency we've been looking for. It's definitely the silicon was a bit old last time. We want the silicon to roll over all the little details without trapping any air in it. God, doesn't that just look satisfying? All right, hello. <laughs> what on earth is this? What you're looking at is an unfinished vacuum former that a friend made like 15 years ago and never finished it. And uh, now I have it. So let's see if it works for a start. I turn this on. I open this and shut this. Now this big tank is having all its air sucked out at the moment. And the idea is when you uh, do your hot plastic on here, when you turn this, it should suck all the air back in. I guess, I think so anyway. So in theory, when I turn this, it should go. <laughs> I wonder if there's any way we can test it. Um, if we put this paper on here, we should see it move, right? <laughs> I guess, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, that was something. Well, look, we're not going to be forming anything this big. I think this was designed for Stormtrooper armor. So what we'll do is we'll seal up some of these holes with packing tape and then hopefully we'll get a better vacuum out of it. So this is the other component of the vacuum former. We need heat. Uh, so we have this, which honestly, uh, will be really, really nice for the, the cold nights in the garage. And now we have three of these. <laughs> I, I'm guessing to cover the whole span of this, but for now I've just set up one. And this is really janky and probably really unsafe. So look, we're just going to have to uh, have the fire extinguisher on hand and band-aids and uh, not be an idiot. I guess. I think that's the best we can do. Okay, so I guess in theory, we just put our gloves on and we heat this up and just hope nothing catches on fire. Let's go for it. What do you reckon? Should we? Yeah, okay. <laughs> nope, <laughs> that's not happening. Okay, we have the option for more heat. Should we do more heat? I feel like this is getting more and more questionable, but <laughs> okay, let's set, let's set up more heat. Nope. 
Oh, I'm feeling confident now. That's really sagging. Still going, so I think we have... Let's go! Down and... Vacuum... On! Ah! I mean... <laughs> it's an improvement, right? Okay, this time around I've made a really bootleg buck and I've sort of designed it after the Games Workshop blister packs, but it's just uh, a really janky version. Ah, oh. you know, it's, it's really giving me hope just seeing it like that, you know, like we can get there with a bit of practice, a bit of finesse. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, that looks like a good mold, right? You gotta be proud of that. There we go. That's what we've been looking for. Good. Hello, it's the next day me. Uh, you saw me yesterday and now you're seeing me today. What have I done today? I've made a frame. This little fancy MDF frame because our last one fell apart. And uh, this weird foam padding thing, which I'm hoping when we... <sighs> it's going to make a good suction. Let's find out. Let's do it. Jesus. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> well, <laughs> certainly better. God, that was a bit scary, wasn't it? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Maybe you gave it a little bit too much pressure. God. Oh, well, there's some decent uh, detail on this side. <laughs> God, that was crazy. The tank really went for it. Okay, so I've just been watching past me because that's a really good way of working out exactly where I'm going wrong which is a lot of places. And it's not always obvious until you're actually watching it. When you're in the moment, it's all heated and fast and stuff. It's not so obvious that you have like a blaringly massive gap in the side where all the air's going out of and there's no vacuum forming. Yeah, very embarrassing, but I'm working that out. Now, what are the issues so far? I'm not pulling off a good enough vacuum on every side. Like here, no vacuum. Here, really good result. I'm not able to pull down the plastic far enough before it starts cooling. And that's because I'm using polycarbonate and there's a very short window of time between melting and cooling off. It's also filled with moisture, which is giving me all these little bubbles, which is mega annoying. We can fix that apparently though. What I should be doing is trying to find a better material locally, but this is all I can find at the moment. I tell you what though, I am getting pretty confident because over time, they are getting better. And I feel like if I can nail this, then I'll be good at every material. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen that bit. So yeah, it's all going okay, but it's something I'm going to have to work on quite a lot and experiment, and maybe experiment with my setup a bit as well. We'll see. Have faith. <laughs> this place looks a lot less cool when you turn on the lights. Um, I have to do some cleaning up because I have absolutely destroyed this place because, you know, when you're doing one project and you're doing another project and you're excited about that one and then you have to wait for that one, you run over and do this one, I've made a mess. But I think we should use this opportunity to do some brainstorming for Arcane Ugly. I have just completed doing 40 days of magic items every single day, which I've posted on my Patreon each day. And now I think what we should do is focus on magic spells. 
Now I think actually making magic spells is really difficult to make spells that feel like real spells because the thing with magic is um, as soon as you understand it, then it's not magic anymore. You can't science magic. And so when it comes to making miscasts and stuff, I want miscasts to feel absolutely wild. So how do we tackle that? Mm, I overwatered you, didn't I? Okay, here's one miscast effect. A bridge just gets created between two places. That could be a really interesting dynamic and a bit strange. Two, something gets sawed in half perfectly. Three, your hands and feet grow disproportionately large. Four, you're unable to ever say your own name again. Your skin sheds like whew, instantly like a snake. Your hands are permanently covered in ink. You read the mind of someone with the same name as you. Just like for a moment, you're unable to recognize any written language, except one language that would be completely unrelated to you. You temporarily see darkness as light and light as darkness. Oh, that would be weird. A nearby statue is transformed into his real life equivalent. I was just looking at that cat and I'm like, I wish that was a real thing. Check it out. I did, did some uh, rearranging. Uh, actually, let me show you everything else. Oh, wow. Oh, look how clean everything is. Oh, very nice. And over here. And while we're over here, let's just do some molding and casting. So assuming that I have absolutely nailed this mold, which I mean, it looks pretty good. And from our test pool seems to be okay. If this works in our black resin, this could be the start of our little production run mix. Oh. Actually, what am I doing? I need a mask. I love this color. So good. Gently in. These are all locked in nice and tight. Double check. Yep. Nothing's going to explode today. A little pouring cup. This is a really good way of indicating how fast it's setting. I mean, it's definitely already setting, so hopefully we weren't too slow. God, come on, there you go. Oh. I mean, that's really not bad at all. I put gloss varnish on the eyes and now they really pop. So that's a big win. His tummy looks nice. Yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. Like, I, I feel really confident selling this because I, like I fixed all the problems I didn't like with it and the cast looks really nice and looks really crispy and sharp. Now that I've got the new mold, I think that's made a really big difference in terms of the textures as well. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're cooking now. Ugh. I keep putting it down and then picking it back up again. I'm just like, I, I put it on the shelf I'm like, okay, let's cast the next one. And I just keep coming back to it. I'm really stoked. And to see, to see this from all the old casts and stuff, it's actually, let's get some out because I want to see him again. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm really happy with the changes I made because I think uh, it just, it looks so much better now. It looks more professional, I think. Cool. Okay.
The sky turns gray against the fiery display of red and golden hues, like the day I fell for you. So what will you do when the sun begins to fall? I'm、oh, waiting here for、now. you. <laughs> Won't you answer my call? What should I work on? <laughs> 